Hey YouTube, what's up? Nathan King back here with another video and today we are going to be doing a little chest and back workout today. Uh, it's a split my coach put in, my new coach put in. Uh, we were on the regular push-pull legs and then I started doing shoulders and arms, chest and back and then legs and abs day even though I do abs technically four times a week because we incorporate that on chest and back for some reason. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, that's Chick-fil-A talking. But yeah, I really like the split, like a back and chest day. Like I don't understand. I hit back first, the pump I get, and then to go to chest. It really f helps with my incline, I feel like, and my strain. People have always said, like, if you bench and uh, what do you call it? If you want, like, a better bench as well, like, train, get a wider back. I don't really know the science and everything behind it. But I've always just heard it personally. It's helped me, so yeah. Um, other than that, I'm going to take my... Uh, pre-workout here um this is what i've been taking so far it's the only one that doesn't really upset my stomach it's the alpha lion super human pre in miami vice it's a really good pre-workout um gives me a lot of energy maybe a little too much energy the only pr problem i have with it is it stays in your system a little too long and then for creatine i like taking a the Kriakong Advanced Cre uh, Advanced um ugh, can't talk. I like taking the Kriakong Advanced Creatine Supplement. It's by Mutant, so I usually like to take this after my workout. But because of uh recently, um, I keep forgetting to take it after my workout. I don't know why. I'm probably gonna start taking it before my pre workout, even though people say you shouldn't do it. But I have my Gymshark fit on, of course. Um, we have the orange lifting club t shirt and the blue lifting club uh, shorts on. I'm going a little old school today. I've also uh, bought a couple different tripods over the past couple days. So um, I'm using one 70 inch one right now that's not as big, it just has the one leg to stand on. And then there's this one over here. I've used it a couple times, but it's like a three, uh, three seater, like a three legged one. So if I wanted something really stable, or I had a when I get a heavier camera in the future, I'll be using a lot more of this. But yeah, without further ado, I gotta get my uh, white Nike socks on, throw my Vans on, and uh, we'll get going to the gym for this chest and back day. So yeah, if you made it this far, make sure to jack a lot. So if you made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the gym. I was born with something inside me that refuses to settle for average, and am grateful for it. I am a warrior, a destroyer, a force of pure violence, and all that I desire is the sheer glory of victory. Mercy is for the weak, surrender for those who have no conviction.
So we just finished up our workout at Revitalize Fitness here in Toledo. Um, I'm not going to lie, I figured out midway through my posing session that my camera was recording in like HD slow-mo instead of the 4K 24 frame rates that you guys are seeing here. Also, I forgot my mic, so my audio might sound like shit. I'm pretty pissed off, but hopefully I can like speed it up and everything is still decent. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to see. It kind of just ruined my day. Honestly, because I was so excited to finally do a chest and back vlog because this is my favorite Oh, sorry my favorite day to record and yeah, it is what it is at this point I'm gonna get home get my post-workout meal in me and see what we can do about it So I'm back at home now. I'm about to have my little post-workout meal My post-workout meal just consists of a scoop of protein isolate, which obviously I like using uh you know, I love my mutant products. I love using the mutant protein isolate. And then I'm just going to take some of my creatine that I forgot to take. And then it's actually 32 grams of peanut butter and 75 grams of a banana. So I'm going to get that down in me. Um, sorry if the footage came out choppy. I didn't know my camera was recording in HD slow-mo. So I had to use my editing uh, tips and my uh, editing skills to speed up the video and make it look like I recorded in 4K, even though for some reason it was recording in HD, 60 frame rates per second. But, you know, shit happens sometimes, and I'll make sure to get another chest and back day next week, as it is my favorite workout I do of the week. I don't mind doing shoulders and arms. I love training shoulders, but I feel like a good foundation is building the chest personally, like having a big chest, for example, Alex Eubanks or even Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, having a big chest really, def uh, is like, I feel like defines the physique is the gold standard of a good physique. So I've always wanted a big chest and that's why doing chest days are always my favorite days mixed in with back. You can't ever beat a good back pump, but, um, without, uh, furthermore to do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Follow me on Instagram at Nathan at Nathan King29 and at Twitter at Nate King30. I'll make sure to keep consistently pumping out content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.